To help you find and or replace data on your worksheet or within your workbook, you can use the Find and Replace feature, which is found up here on the Home tab, over in the Editing group, and there's the magnifying glass. Go ahead and click on it to find the find, and there it is. You can see when I hover over it, it gives you the shortcut keys Control F. That is if you don't want to come up here on the ribbon to click on the command to open up the find window. But since I'm here, let me go ahead and click on it to open it up. And it opens up the find and replace. There's the replace. We'll click on that a little bit later on, but right now let's focus on the find. And to move the window, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag the title bar and put it up there. And then let's see, what do I want to find? I want to find the numbers, let's do 475. Well, I know it's right there, but you can imagine if you can't quickly eyeball it and you want to search the entire worksheet here, well, come up here, type in the numbers, 475. And then before I go ahead and click on Find Next, notice that that button is active or highlighted. Well, it means it's active. That means you can use the Enter key to go ahead instead of using the mouse to Find Next. Now, I'm not afraid to say it. I'm a mouse man. I like using a mouse. But if you're a keyboard person, great. And if it's not the button that you want highlighted or that's not active, so you can hit the Enter key on the keyboard, then you can hit the Tab key and toggle through and highlight those other, well, there's options. Hit the Tab key again. There's Find All. Or after you hit Tab and you want to go back, hold down the Shift key and hit Tab and it goes backwards. So Tab to the right, Shift Tab to the left. In any case, that's the first thing I want to make mention of. The second thing is that what cell do I have highlighted on the worksheet? You can see up in the name box it's cell G9. That means when I click on Find Next or hit the Enter key on the keyboard, it's going to begin the search from that point forward. And by default, it's going to search row by row. You can change it to column by column, but I'll go over that in just a minute. But row by row means that it starts from that point and it finishes that row off all the way down to column XFD something. In any case, when it gets to the end, it quickly returns to the next row and goes from left to right all the way down to the bottom of the worksheet. And it does it so fast. So, it's not going to initially find the 475s up here. It'll start from this point and go down and find them down here. When it gets to the end of what it finds down below, then it'll return back up to the top and continue its search to find your 475s. So when I go ahead and hit Enter on that Active button, it jumps right to the first 475, well, from that point, the starting point of G9. And if I want to be able to start from the beginning, well, then go to the beginning, click in cell A1, and then, well, hit Enter or click on Find Next, and there you go, the first 475 in its search, starting from cell A1. Now, instead of hitting Enter, 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 or clicking Find Next, 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 if you want to be able to get the total number of cells that contain the numbers 475, go ahead and click on Find All. Or, if you want to go to Find All using the keyboard, just hold down the Shift key, hit Tab to go backwards, and there we go, Find All, then hit Enter or click on it, pops open the window down below, and this is everything it found, a total of seven cells that contains the value of 475. Now you can click and drag the scroll bar, or what I like doing is hovering over the bottom border of the window until I can see arrows pointing up and down, and clicking and dragging to expand it so I don't get the scroll bar, if I can avoid the scrolly bar. And there you go. First of all, notice that it only searched in sheet one. Well, how do you know it only did that? We'll go over that in just a minute, but by default, whatever sheet you're on, it's only gonna search that worksheet. And so on sheet one, in those cells, D6, D7, it found the corresponding values, all 475. And notice, when I hover over any one of these, I get the finger and it highlights, well, actually underlines it like a hyperlink because it is hyper to take you there when you click on it like, well, you don't have to click on E16 to jump right to it. Just anywhere on that hyperlink, it'll jump right to E16, and there you go. It's right there. Cool. And we can go back to D6, jumps right to it, and again, you can click anywhere on that line or that link. Next, let's go ahead and do a replace for the number 475 by coming up here in the same window, but clicking on the Replace tab. Just adds the extra field, replace with what. Let's do 450. And then it's going to begin in cell D6. So when I click on Replace, it'll update the number here as well as over here. So click on Replace. It updates it, updates it over here. Then it jumps to the next Find What 475, which it found in cell D7. It's right there, D7. Click on Replace. Then the window, after I replace it, gets bumped over because, well, it has to go to E7. And since the window's in the way, it wants to move it out of the way so you can see what's highlighted there, what it found. Cool. And instead of clicking on Replace, 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 or hitting Enter, Enter, Enter on the Active button there, you can go ahead and click on Replace All. One Stop Replace. Just go ahead and click on it. And there's a total of five remaining replacements. 
out of the total of seven, and I already replaced two of them. So let's go ahead and click OK. Cool. Now what about searching the entire workbook for finding and or replacing, not just sheet one? Well, first of all, do I have anything on sheet two? I'd rather show you first. Let me go ahead and close out and click on sheet two. Oh, that was a plant. Okay, we have one number 450 and nothing on sheet three. Let me go back to sheet one. So if I want to look for 450, not just on this worksheet, but include all the other worksheets, let's do control F to pop open the window. And then this time, well, first of all, we can type in 450 to replace 475, and then click on Options. And let me click and drag the title bar here. And we want to search within not just the active sheet that we're on, but the entire workbook. That's what's missing. Okay, and then go ahead and click on either Find Next or hit Find All. And then that way it opens it up. Click and drag the top, then go to the bottom, hover over it, click and drag to stretch it. And hey, there we go, Sheet 2. All the others are sheet one, and on sheet two, we got 450. Okay, it's not as fancy, it doesn't have the two extra decimal places, but we'll fix that, or I'll show you how you can add the extra decimal places or remove them in a later training video. So to go ahead and go right to it, you got the finger, click on it, takes you right to it, and then to go back to sheet one, well, any one of these cells will do it. Let's go to D6, and we're back. And of course, you can see down below, it found a total of eight cells. Well, seven on sheet one and one on sheet two. Now, in addition to finding data, what if you have data that you want to find that has certain formatting applied to it, like maybe all the 450s that are highlighted or in bold because you don't want to find all of them, just the ones that have special emphasis or formatting? Then to set the criteria for formatting, just come up here and click on the Format drop-down arrow and select Format. Oh, there's a lot of formats. This is where it gets pretty funky. You've got like numbers, currency, accounting, date, time, alignments, font. Let's stick with font. We'll keep it simple. But boy, you can do a lot of different types of formats you can search for. But in this example, let's say that we just want to search for those cells with 450 that are bold. And then click OK. And then you can see here, preview of it. It's in bold. And so when I click on Find Next, I get bagel, zero. Why? Because it doesn't meet both conditions. Oh, it meets the 450. It's right there. We can see it. But because it's not in bold, it says, forget it. I can't see it. So fine. What if I go ahead and delete it and say, okay, just find anything that's in bold. And say, find all. It found the titles. Camping Gear US for that database, and then Camping Gear UK. Now, you can do it that way when it comes to formatting. Or, instead, if you've got a lot of formats applied to a single cell, you've got bold, underline, italics, a different type of font, and you want to find that same type of formatting, all mixed into that one cell in another cell, then instead of clicking on the, well, you can click on the format button, it opens up the format window. You don't have to click on the drop down arrow. Instead of going, okay, I know it was bold, I know the color was red, I know it was this, that, go ahead and click cancel here. And instead, click on the drop down arrow and say that you want to choose the format from the cell. When you click on it, it collapses it and you get a little ink dropper next to your white cross. So whatever cell you click on, it sucks it in the ink dropper, the sample of the formatting, and it pulls it in. I'm going to go ahead and hit the escape key to get out of that, because I'm not going to pull it in. I mean, all it's got applied to it, as you can see, it's highlighted bold. Well, it could be more formatting, some of which I'm not aware of. But in any case, let's go ahead and control F and bring this back up. And you want to keep this in mind, because if it's not obvious to you, I mean, that is preview, but maybe you forget, and you're like, okay, quickly, I gotta go find a number 450 and hit enter. And it's like, what the fudge? You can't find it. And you click OK, and you're pulling your hair out. Well, the first place I would look is, if it doesn't display in the preview window, I would come over here and click on the drop down arrow and click on clear find format, because if that's active, that means formatting's been applied to it, and that's part of the conditions it has to meet, in addition to the number 450. So clear it, and then go ahead, and with 450 being the only condition that needs to be met, click Find Next, and we're back to Happyville. It found 450. Yay! Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.